Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to my channel. I know it is a very long break. I took a break in between. My semesters are over, and now holidays are started. Uh, so yeah, we are back again with another video. So in this video, I will show you how to install a, a extension or a plugin onto your brackets that will allow you to auto save your uh, code and it will and when you click on live preview it will automatically show up what is uh, you are coding and the uh, output will be shown on your browser so let's begin with this one so first you need to go to your plugins and here let it open here you type auto save every edit and this is the plugin that we will gonna install auto save every edit so let's install this extension it depends upon your internet speed it will download and then install uh, let's just wait for a couple of seconds then I will show you okay so installation successful now close this one and let's see yeah okay it is there so let's create a new file control N and then save it as a test dot html save let us run a simple code i will use emit here in case you don't know what is emit you will get on the top right corner how to install it is another plugin you can see i hit a exclamatory sign and then press tab and all this uploaded so you can always check that on the top right corner i button it will be pinned there so let it be test Site and body we will give a h1 tag and we'll write hello people okay so i will show you another one this is here you need to enable this one auto save you just click on enable auto save and it will then uh, it will first uh, show you up like this and click on enable auto save and now it is ready you can also configure auto save you can set it up your ms it will be 400 by default you can then reduce it the much you reduce the, uh, the uh, much faster it will auto save your files uh, i have made it up to 50 that is the lowest save changes and then hit on live preview and one thing the live preview only works on chrome so you need a chrome browser i think everybody has so you can now see if i hit a h2 tag uh, and this is awesome so you can see it is currently updating and you can already see the output on the browser on a running time you can always use multi window if you are using windows 10 or 8 i don't think it has 7 doesn't have so yeah you can do that and it will be much easier for you so that was in this video hope you like this video and uh, i will bring up uh, much new content so yeah let me write so like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will catch you up with the latest videos later till then bye bye peace